Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I did a home workout for chest and arms and I recorded it. So I figured I'd use this video just to share some of the exercises that I did at home as we isolate and sort of quarantine for the coronavirus. Also guys, in this video you'll see that I'm using Bowflex adjustable dumbbells. I have another video reviewing them if you want to check that out. I'll link it down below. And if you guys like this sort of content, if it's helpful for you, hit that like button. It does help me out. Know me? My name is Gia, and I'm the creator of Dote Well. Crave worthy protein treats like cinnamon rolls and bread. And I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. Welcome. Hey friends, <laughs> I'm creating another video for my exercises for today. Uh, it's home workout since we're all quarantined for the coronavirus um, or self what's that? social distancing, those are the words. I've got limited equipment, we currently live in a one bedroom apartment. I'm working on chest as well as arms today. Uh, limited equipment, so I'm going to show you what I have and kind of the things that I'm making up along the way just to make sure I get my gains in while we are... Um, sort of social distancing. I hope you like this guys and at any point you think any of this stuff is helpful give me a like. Hit that thumb up button. Like my shirt. Inner strength man. Uh, if you guys don't already know I use an app called Strong App uh, and you can basically build your workout in there. These are a bunch of um, exercises they have already in the app standard or that I've created and put there. Um, and if you click into the actual workout and start it, I'm trying to get the glare away, you can see that for example with uh, push-ups I want to do five sets and what I'm doing throughout this whole coronavirus thing as well as any time when I'm working out is making sure that I'm trying to progressively overload again. So that means that incrementally increase the intensity either by volume, by reps, um, total volume uh, over over time, over long periods of time. So you can safely get your gains on. Push-ups are actually really hard for me at the beginning of my workouts just because I feel like my blood hasn't started flowing. So good luck to me here. All right, so first exercise that I've got with weights is gonna be bench press, and as always, gotta start with lighter weights. So I'm gonna actually start with 20s, because that's light for me for bench press. And here's the thing that I've got, guys. I have a cooler that can actually hold my body weight. I think it holds maybe, I don't know, 250 pounds. If you don't have a cooler, that's okay. You can do bench press um, on the floor, but you're going to be restricted to your range of motion. So I'll be going just about here you'll be able to go here, which is not bad at all. Let me show you. So if you haven't got a cooler or a bench that you can reliably lay down on, take out your trusty whales. <laughs> and lay it on the floor. Slowly lifting them up over my knees. But since I have my trusty cooler, before you do this, make sure your cooler can take your weight and make sure, uh, yeah, that's it. Not all coolers are made the same and not all bodies are made the same. The only thing with this is the cooler is a bit shorter than the normal bench, so I've got to know where to place my bum so my head doesn't hang off. The 
these are plank walks. The point is to keep your whole body engaged. My abs are engaged. My legs are definitely engaged. Now it's time for biceps, bicep curls. I'm going to switch between standard grip and hammer curls. It just helps to activate different parts of the muscles. But everything that I'm doing here, guys, is because I've had injuries. I'm going in a pretty controlled um, speed. Sometimes it's also good to alternate your exercises, especially for opposing muscles. So I actually haven't done tricep extensions for a while because they're not my favorite try workout. No. My headset is one of those ones where you just touch the side when the music pauses. I'm only doing 15 pounds because again, I haven't done this particular try exercise in a while and it's good to get acquainted with it. And if I don't feel like moving up in weight, I can just do more reps. This next one is a concentration curl, so it's biceps. And the idea is you plant your feet to the ground to keep your legs shoulder width or actually slightly wider than shoulder width apart. You're going to plant your elbow or right above your elbow to the inside of your thigh. And you're going to curl up. And what this does is it keeps your arm in place and really just forces your bicep to curl without any swinging of your arm to help with the lift. Okay. You can do this on any chair as long as your knee is at about 45, 45? <laughs> 90 degree angle. If you can do it on a hard chair, that's better. If you don't have a hard chair, do it on the couch. The only reason I say don't do it on the couch first is just because the couch, couch can have a little bit of bounce with it. The last two exercises that I'm doing, friends, is planks to dead bugs. Let me show you what a dead bug looks like first before I even do any of this. So a dead bug is a little bit confusing for the first time that you do it, but essentially it's like you're a bug, poor buggy, I love bugs, that's upside down and you're sort of alternating, alternating with your legs. So for those that haven't done dead bugs before, let me show you dead bug first before I actually do the exercises. You're basically, think of yourself as an upside down bug, poor buggy, um, and you're trying to flail for your life. So as much as I'm trying to get space here, essentially this is what it is. If you haven't done this before, Start with your back flat on the floor and just get used to the motion of alternating. Touching your hand to your opposite foot or leg. And then as you get more advanced, and if you're really flexible, you can touch your toes <laughs> but, uh, with your leg straight. I'm not there. That's a dead bug. Okay, here we go. I'm doing planks, two dead bugs. I'm doing five sets. One set would be a plank and a dead bug. I'm doing, trying to do 30 second planks straight into my dead bugs and I'm gonna do 10 bugs, so 10 dead bugs. Right arm, left arm is one cap for a dead bug. Right arm, left arm is another cap for a dead bug. So 10 of those. I've got my timer on my phone. Plank go. problem with planks is 
my shoulder, my carpal tunnel tends to act up. Owl sound is my alarm. Thanks guys for watching. I know that was just a hodgepodge of different exercises that I did. I hope it's helpful. If you have any ideas of things that you do at home, put them in the comments. And if you want to see more content from this mug, hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. Ding, 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 every time this baby gorilla posts a video. All right, guys, have a great day. See ya. By the way, if you haven't checked out Do It Well yet, you should. Link in the description box. Use code GIVME10 for 10% off your first order. Although we are paused for production just at the moment, we'll be up and running and you guys can sign up on the site to get notified directly when we start baking again. Alright guys, out for real. Bye.